Juliet Max. Thanks for watching this channel. Continue to watch and don't forget to subscribe. Also go to the blog brilliantmax.com. There are lots and lots of practices there. Visit the blog, do the exercises, mark your work. Today we are going to be learning how to multiply mixed numbers. Remember that a mixed number has a fraction and a whole number part. So we are multiplying mixed numbers. But before we go there, we learned how to multiply fractions during the last lesson. So, here are the answers. Question 1. 1 quarter times 8 over 9 is equal to 2 over 9. Question 2. 2 thirds of 42 is equal to 28. Question 3. 6 over 7 times 14 over 24 is equal to half. Question 4. 3 over 7 times 1 over 9 times 21 over 30 is equal to 1 over 30. Multiplying mixed numbers. Example 1, 3 3 quarters times 6. 3 3 quarters is a mixed number and 6 is a whole number. But before you can work with 3 3 quarters, you need to change it into an improper fraction. So we we'll write the question again. 3 3 quarters times 6. Change 3 quarters into an improper fraction. So that will give us 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 4 plus 3 all over 4 times 6. And that will give us 3, 4 is 12 plus 3, 15 over 4 times 6 over 1. Common factors, 2 in 4 is a 2, 2 in 6 is 3. So we have 15 times 3 as a numerator all over 2. That gives us 15 times 3 is 45 over 2. And this will be equal to 2 in 45 is 22 because 22 times 2 is 44 and we have a remainder of 1. So the answer is 22 remainder 1 over 2 which is 22 and half. Example 2. 1 2 3rd times 2 4 5th. Solution. 1 2 3rd times 2 4 5th. We change the mixed numbers to improper fractions. 3, 1 is 3 plus 2, and that gives us 5 over 3 times. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14 over 5. Immediately we can see that 5 is common. So we divide 5 by 5 to get 1. 5 by 5 to get 1. What do we have left? 14 over 3. 14 over 3 is an improper fraction. So we change it into a mixed number. 3 in 14. 3 in 4 is 12. Remainder 2. So our answer is 4 to 3rds. Let's look at example 3. Example 3. Multiply 138 by 2 1 third. Solution. 1, 3, 8 times 2, 1 third. As we can see, both of them are mixed numbers. So we need to change them to improper fractions before we can multiply. 8 times 1 is 8. And 8 plus 3 is 11. So that will give us 11 over 8 times 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1, 7. So 2 1 third is 7 over 3. The numerators are 11 and 7, and the denominators are 8 and 3. And obviously, there are no common factors. 
So when you don't have any common factors, you simply multiply the numerators and the denominators. So 11 times 7, 11 times 7 is equal to 77 over 8 times 3. 8 times 3 is equal to 24. This is an improper fraction, so we change it into a mixed number. 77 over 24. Let's use our knowledge of estimation. How many 24s do you have in 77? If you add 24 twice, you get 48. If you add another 24 to 48, what do you get? 4 plus 8 is 12. 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 1, and that is 7. So we have 72. So there are three 24s in 77. And then 77 minus 72, we have 5. So the answer is 3 whole number, 5 over 24. Example 4. What is the product of 178 and 4 4 fifths? Product means multiply or times. We we'll write the question again. 1 7 over 8 times 4 4 fifths. They are mixed numbers, so we change them to improper fractions. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 7. That gives us 15 over 8 times. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 plus 4 is 24 over 5. We know that 5 is a factor of 15, so 5 and 5 is 1, 5 and 15 is 3. 8 is also a factor of 24. 8 and 8 is 1, and 8 and 24 is 3. So we have only 3 times 3 in the numerator, and 1 left as denominator. So our answer is actually 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. So the product of 178 and 4 4 feet is equal to 9. Very simple. Having done all of this, I want you to try out these exercises. Number 1. 1 3 quarter times 5 over 8. Question 2. 5 over 9 times 2 2 thirds. Question 3. 5 1 quarter times 2, 4, 7. Question 4. 2, 1 quarter times 8 over 27 times 5 over 7. Question 5. 3, 2 thirds times 3, 3 fifths times 1, 1 sixth. My name is Ngozi Oregon and I continue to watch this channel and don't forget to subscribe to it and give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. Go to the blog, brilliantmaths.com. There are lots and lots of practices for you there. And always remember that maths is fun and you can do it.